Welcome everybody. Another episode of the Center Circle Podcast. We've got myself, John. How's that? I like Kit. No kit this week, no? Nah, not this week. Mm. Should have saved it though. You didn't get the blue memo though. More, more. Hmm? You didn't get the blue memo. No, clearly not. Yeah. A kit would have been more appropriate this week. Okay. Where? Where? Well, we know why, but I said we'll get there in a Side note. Her tech fleeces are up over 200 pounds now. Well, because he lives. It was a gift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That old chestnut. Yeah, yeah. That old chestnut. All right, this week, um, two rounds of the of, of the Premier League to go through. Uh, as always, the gift that keeps on giving. So, uh, first, we have a quick recap of the midweek games, round 15, uh, and then we'll get on to, uh, to this weekend's uh, fixtures. Uh, poor Luton. Uh, that's what I'll say. <laughs> Um, so yeah, well, let's start there actually. Midweek, Luton versus Arsenal. Uh, this ended Luton three, Arsenal four. Um, look, they've not they've not come away with any points, but I think they've equipped themselves better than we than we thought they would. Even if it's just from performance and putting up a bit of a fight, I wasn't expecting them to to even be taking teams to to do the brink. Is that? Hmm? Or do you think teams are just underestimating? I think it's a bit of both. I think it's a bit of both. Like they're just turning up and being like, oh, it's not I think it's I think it's a bit of both. But where you see them, they are they're giving me like uh Sheffield United. You know when Sheffield, Sheffield United came out last time? Mm-hmm. Without the end result, without the quality. They're giving me that level of effort vibes. That's 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 the vibe I'm getting from them. Um but uh, but Arsenal pulled it uh out of the bag at the very end. Yeah, Man mm. like Basmati. Yeah. So you pay 100 mil for it, innit? Uh, some people have started to go fund me saying we need to pay West Ham more money. <laughs> the, the 100 power wasn't enough. 100 million wasn't enough. Uh, uh, I, think uh, they need to, I think they need to get a life, personally. Yeah. I did say, man. Top quality player. Yeah, no. Top, top quality player. He just needed a, top, a bigger team. Shouldn't have got to that point, though. I think Raya made a couple of howlers. Yeah, he gifted them two goals. Didn't gifted them two goals. I mean, this... This goalkeeper thing, it's gonna be one of the reasons why we maybe don't push. I think it's gonna be should. he's he's uh what's the saying? He's drawn a rod for his own back. Yeah, yeah, I think that's it. Yeah. Essentially, if nothing happens for you this season, they're gonna have something to hold against him, right? Yeah. Why did you upset the keeper? Why did you upset the imbalance? Mm-hmm. You brought in Bryce, you plugged the hole. He's come good, and then you created another issue. Where do we go from there? Yeah, it's. I think Ramsdale leaves, isn't it? Like they said, the deal is going to go permanent, so that means Raya is going to be your number one. Sell Ramsdale at the end of the season. Get rid of the issue. I'm not even coming this far. I'll, I'll be honest. <clears throat> uh, give him a bit of life, you know. Coming from Brentford, the, the game, a lot of the games are not now more high profile. There's probably a little bit more on the line, etc. But I'm not convinced. I'll be honest. I'm not convinced. Yeah. We haven't gone from Ramsdale to a clear, clear, clear mm. like. Like when we went from Carrius to Allison. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, you know, we've we've done, we've we've just done what my United did, but a step above. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Only one, one though. Yeah, yeah. They're not too yeah, many no. wrong tire. Yeah, they Still went the same shaky ladder. <laughs> they went to the hair to Onana, and it's like, okay, fine. You got a guy who can play with his feet, but then he's flapping at shots or whatever. Um, so yeah, I just hope with every game he plays, he gets a little bit more confident and mm. get there because you don't want to be getting to February, March, and that's when it comes back to bite you. And then we play teams where you're not gonna, you know, you're not gonna pull it out of the back last minute. Do you think this whole indecision about who plays is messing with both of their confidence? I think so. Because I think it messes with Ramsdale's confidence uh, because he will see stuff happening and be like, well, I thought he was here to, and those things weren't going to happen. That's why I'm sitting on the bench. Mm. And then for Raya, he will hear all the chattings. Obviously, coach is giving him confidence by playing him and all that stuff. But he will hear all the chattings. He will know. So I I don't think anyone's a winner. Well, I don't I don't think there is any indecision about who played. Like Ray is the number one. Like yeah, despite yeah, yeah. what Arteta says. Yeah. Like other than like I think there's like two or three games after Ray joined, mm. Ramsdale started, but then that Champions League game he started him, and then like um, Ramsdale's only played like the Brentford game. Yeah, because of the loan. Because yeah. of the loan, and then there might have been like a 
Yeah, it was the... Carlin Cup. Yeah, the Carlin Cup. Yeah. And he didn't cover himself in glory no. <laughs> when he there, played that. There, there was a game where he got... He had a... I think there was a... There was a two-game stretch where the first game, Raya had a bit of a mare and then Ramsdale came in and it was a league game. The next no, game, but it was Brentford. That was Brentford. No, no, it was, oh. no, no, that happened. But since <laughs> then, but oh, yeah, it's, sorry, just, it's just been Raya like playing yeah. the, the bigger game. Raya's so the number one. Yeah, and, so... So I, I understand the reason why I asked that question is because you know there's times where you know no matter what I do I'm not getting dropped. Yeah. I the, I I could have a stinker. I could go on an interview and say I I can't concentrate for ninety minutes. <laughs> I ain't getting dropped. But in this situation, yeah, I might might have been told I'm number one, but over my shoulder Ramsdale's he's standing right there mm. in case anything really bad happens. He's just gonna walk straight back into that position. Yeah. So that's why. I, when I say it, when I ask, yeah. I'm asking for it's that. Just the quality of... of the number two is closer yes. to the number yes. one there you than, go. Yeah. than most there you Premiership go. teams in it. Like, yeah, but the, point, yeah. but the point you made there is key because I think he has backed himself in the corner because he's backed Raya so much. He wants to stick with him a little bit. Yeah, I mean, he'd have to make some bad mistakes for three or four games. I think now and you can't afford that. We can't. No, Everyone's on smoke this season. Everyone's on smoke. Yeah. yeah. So, so look, we pulled out the bag at that point as we'll see for some of the other results, that'll end up being a good round from an Arsenal point of view. And everyone's doing the usual thing. Oh, well, you know, putting results out of the bag, that's what you need to do. I look at it slightly differently. I think there's only so many times you, you're going to do that. The whole point is that that's a once in a while thing. Isn't it? Mm. We, and we're not even halfway through the season. We've had to do it two or three times. So, yeah, true. <laughs> so, true. so actually, I'd rather... You know, we went. We had 15, 16 league games last season where we scored in the first 20 minutes or something like that. There was a stat going around like that. That's not the Arsenal we've seen this season. The only difference is when we did that, you always felt like the other team would, would get an opportunity. Gabriel would make a mistake or something. But I feel like we've gone the other way now. The, the defence, Arsenal defence is pretty solid, relatively solid. I think we're second only to Liverpool in terms of, in terms of the defence. Um, but then those goals, bro, they're just... It's just not it's, not, it's not firing, it's not functioning. And we'll come on to this weekend's games because I think that, that will prove that perfectly. So then if we move on to uh, Chelsea versus United. I mean, Chelsea, man. Everyone is being United and you just couldn't, like, <laughs> you couldn't join the party, you know? There's a conversation here to be had about Poch. Because I don't, I'm now, I'm, it's no longer a Chelsea thing for me because you've been there long enough. You've been games. long enough to have put your stamp on it. 15 games? No, but Ange had his stamp on from game one. Yeah, and he's lost five games in a row. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know Chelsea have had injuries, but it's a bit like the whole Man United thing. Like, what, what's their style of football? Exactly. What's their identity? Well, you can't keep Ten doing this. Oh, the squad, and they're not my well, players. Bro, well, work with what you've got. Ten Hagger's been there 18 months and spent 400 million, 500 million quid. So... No, no, I get that, but... You can always see what a manager is trying to implement, even even this early on. I know you say it's only fifteen day, fifteen games, sorry, but if I asked you, how how did Chelsea want to play? Like, what 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 do you get from them? You couldn't you couldn't <sighs> well, answer the question. I've got something even more flagrant to say. I don't know what Pochettino's style of play is. Full stop. But that's another conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Yeah. Like, because yeah. if we're being honest, when he left, Tottenham was still playing the same way. Yeah, and then went to yeah. PSG and it was kind of like just let them do what they're doing. So, so I'm starting to now look at Poch through the magnifying glass. He's looking a bit moody under the light. It's fair. Yeah, it's I fair. think he'll be given the season though. I think it, they have to. Yeah, you might not get far into next season if it continues. Yeah, but I think they have to give him the season. Like considering how indifferent Man United have been playing mm. leading up into that Chelsea game, I just thought Chelsea were. Just get at them a little bit more, innit? Like it was just laborious. And, and on top of that, we've been saying Chelsea against the big teams turn up. Mm. Yeah. Now, I know some people will say United <laughs> are no longer a big team, so <laughs> maybe this yeah. speaks some to people them. Some is me. <laughs> <laughs> well, all of us, to be fair. <laughs> um, you know, so maybe this, their, 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 their approach or their mindset, but I know I'm sounding a bit mad right now, but I agree. I, I genuinely would have thought Chelsea... I genuinely had Chelsea winning that game. Yeah, or at least coming away with a point. Yeah, like, I was shocked at how comfortable United looked. Yeah. 
United were, yeah, United controlled the game, pretty much. I couldn't believe it. Yeah, and if Bruno scores that penalty earlier on, like it could have been, yeah, it could have been yeah, worse yeah. than him. But. Yeah, but I definitely believe you can't, you can't, Poch can't keep harking on about this. My squad, uh, too many players, blah blah blah. Bro, you've had long enough. You've had long enough. I'm sorry. Yeah. Klopp came in and took that that squad to the Europa League final. You know, the uh, uh, Postecoglou's come in and Tottenham were, you know, what top three? Yeah. With after ten and games, go back to Emery last season. Within fifteen games, you could see something, something different to what he inherited. So, so. Mm, fair, fair, fair. Oh dear, <laughs> Chelsea, Chelsea. Everton, Newcastle. Hey, Mr. Dyche. He's on stuff, you know. <laughs> I hate to say it. He's on stuff, you know. They're rolling. Hey. They, they are, are rolling. rolling. I did not see that. Newcastle. Okay. Good no. question. Is it the, the points deduction? Do they do this without it? Or is they that... were going that way, yeah, though. Yeah, their trajectory was up in it. They were going that way, I think way, the Man bro. United game was, was a bit of a blip. Mm. I, think they, I think everyone around the club might have gone into that game a bit too emotional in terms... Because everyone on the radio was like, oh, they're going to get at United. They just had their 10 points deducted. So I think everyone... And I'm sure he, even him in the change room would have been like, right, let's go and show them. So put that aside, they've been on a, a good run. And it's not... It's, I think it's a small surprise. I think the scoreline is more the surprise than them beating Newcastle. Like yeah, three, yeah. three nil. Yeah, like, yeah. No one thought it would have been a three nil game. But yeah, man, like Dyche and Everton seem like they're a match made in heaven, man. Like taking know, into consideration today's result. Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get. To is that. it? No, I'm not talking about yeah, yeah, today's yeah. result yeah. I, I, in terms of reviewing it, but just taking into consideration today's result. Is that Everton beating Newcastle still as shocking? Yeah. And I'm talking about Newcastle losing the way they did to Spurs. Yeah, I think so. Because I think without the points deduction, Everton might be fifth. Or fifth or sixth. So, so it's still shocking. It's still shocking, but cause just Bro. because we, we didn't think they would be up there at all this season. Like, like the first... No, two... no, no. Without the points deduction, they would have been 10th. Yeah, 10th. Oh, the 10th, sorry. Yeah, I, thought, 10th. I thought it was higher up. Hey, Kieran Trippier. Yeah, the stinker, wow. innit? <laughs> wow. Two games in a row. But we'll come, yeah. we'll come wow. to that. I mean... Yeah. You made two big mistakes against Newcastle. Three? Against Everton, sorry. Three? You, you even him all three? Yeah. Nah, <laughs> uh, two, two, two. No, <laughs> he was... <laughs> bruv, do you see how deep he was? For, uh, he played man on side. Mm. The rest mm. of the line's here. Yeah, He's here. Fair. That's bad, that's bad, yeah. Bad. yeah. I mean... They're, they're, they come, they're appealing against the 10-point deduction. They're going all guns blazing. I mean, you know, they could be like a little European League. <laughs> no, you never that, know, that man. That pillow gets slapped away. They'll but you, hope, man. you say, hope. Have you seen you lost performance? You're you fine, hope, man. Yeah. You don't need the. You don't need this appeal. No, Go that should have come into it. You hope. <laughs> yeah. So let me move on to Spurs, West Ham, and <sighs> talking about Pestacoglu. You know, they've been in a bit of a bad ride. Everyone's talking about injuries, etc. I did find it funny, you know, f- things change so quickly in football because we spent a long time talking about Man United's performances. Then actually, just on a pure stats basis, they had some of the best form in the league. Uh, then they beat Chelsea. They win all three Player of the Month awards or all three, you know, monthly awards, Goal of the Month, Player of the Month, and Manager of the Month. And then they have the result we will talk about against Bournemouth for later. Um, Spurs been on a bit of a bad run. They're at home, lose two one to West Ham. Is it just a case of the injuries, or actually, is it some tactical naivety from from Big Ange? You know, refusal the, the the refusing to be flexible. We'll play our way, mate. I think that I think they were just unlucky. I don't think it was anything other than they were just unlucky. The second goal come from a you dodgy mistake. Yeah, massive mistake. A massive mistake. The first one was a sucker punch. There was a few times when that happened in that game, though. Yeah. There's a few times people playing out, turning out, getting caught. And I just thought... It happens. Yeah. No, any, it team, any team that plays out from the back does it. Man City, True. it happens to Man City. True. Arsenal, Liverpool. But in this league, you get, you, get, you get punished badly. It, and I think I just think that's all it was. Yeah. They yeah. just they got caught. 
and regardless of their results, Tottenham are always creating chances. Like, I'm sure their chance creation must be up this season compared to... I mean, yeah. that's 75% position. Like, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. I think, I, I genuinely believe they should have won the game. 23 shots. But, I mean, We're Richie puts the header in the back of the net, they win. Yeah. Well, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But I just think it was a case yeah. of, yeah, that it was a poor mistake and, and a sucker punch, a counter-attack. So... Yeah, it wasn't a. It wasn't. I mean, their last yeah, last five games haven't been good. Ever one in five, um, and then lastly from the mid, we've got Liverpool, Sheffield United. Liverpool scraped by over two 0 You know, yeah. scraped by. You know, wow. Um, it's funny because we'll talk about yesterday's game, but I thought this was Endo's best game for <laughs> us. And it's yes, it'll be funny because. That is funny. Yesterday, yesterday wasn't. You got hooked. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> but um, yeah, it was, it was a solid performance. Like, it was those away games that you've got to grind out the result. We did Trent with the Predators still scoring or assisting. It's crazy. Um, yeah, and then Darwin got an assist. Again. So this Again. be good for. As someone on the comment section said, if he scores 10 or assists 10, Still ten goals in it, so yeah, we, <laughs> yeah. We haven't, got the, we, haven't, we haven't got we haven't got the sharpest knives in our comment section at the moment, but yeah, it's, it's, it's a fact, though, isn't it? Mm. If you put, I mean, what's the uh, flipping question? What's the difference between Paul Scholes and Trent Alexander Arnold? Yo, it's a genuine question. What's I don't know difference? what worries me more: the fact that's a genuine question, or no, nah, Scholes, Scholes is a better footballer than Trent. Come on, like, let's let's not. I know Scholes doesn't. <laughs> Like polarizes people. Hey. Yeah. But, but are you right? What was Skulls' weakness? Mobility. Tackling. Tackling, yeah. <laughs> so he's defended. Yeah, but he wasn't he wasn't a, he wasn't a DM. DM. He's not a DM. <laughs> You're telling me so sentiments don't don't tackle and win balls. Bruv. <sighs> You, can, it, you can take this one. I'm not, I'm Bruh, love it, man. <laughs> his range of passing, he's shooting. Trent's range of passing is the best in the league. Probably the best we've ever seen. Not the best we've ever seen. It's not the best we've ever seen. Trent's range of passing is the best we've ever seen in the Premier League. So I'm waiting for an opposite. A no, no, I'm not. I'm not discrediting. I'm not discrediting Trent. In any, I'm any not discrediting, but I, don't, I but think it's too early to say his range of passing is the best we've ever we, seen. In we've the seen Paul put Scholes, Trent in that Man United midfield. What's the difference? Nah, we've he seen performs. Paul Scholes like What's dictate the games from the centre midfield. Which is and arguably, you're telling me Trent can't do the same? Not, not right now. I'll tell you can't. what, we saw Paul Scholes do that in a team that. Achieved at the highest level on a regular basis. Okay, that's the it, team. It, no, but he was a he was an integral, integral part of that team. We saw the difference of that team when he wasn't an integral it. part of this Liverpool team. Yeah, but that team that he was an integral part of won the league on a regular basis. When Trent is doing that from midfield, then we'll have that conversation. Remove Man City. Games. Remove Man City. We'd have won the league back but to we back. Can't. Boom, boom, boom. I, no, I, but we I can't. understand but we can't. what you're saying. Hold on, wait. What did you just say? Remove Man City. <laughs> Just erase a part of history. No, but I'm just saying, I'm just saying, no, because Liverpool on any other season, we've had that, and everyone's, everyone's acknowledged this. If Pep isn't at Man City or Man City don't have that injection of funding and Liverpool maintain that same per- year, perf- um, level of performance year on year, who, we could all do that. I could say, well, no, but I'm if, just if saying, I'm just saying, he's, only, he's only been doing this since April. Like, it's not a prolonged... Exactly. Not, Pardon? No, the, posi- the positional change, like, from right back, you can't you can't compare. Remove, what, the, remove the positional change. I'm talking about his ability as a player. I'm talking about his ability as a player. Yeah, his ability as a player, but his ability as a player defending is also part of the ability. Exactly, and Paul Scholes said his defending was weak. Yeah, but, but, but defending wasn't part of the core yeah, part of his job. That was the core part. That's the core part of the, the, the guys are right back. Yeah, that is um, crazy. He had, he had, he had, he the had the Roy Keane right. behind him. He had a DM behind him. It wasn't. It wasn't the. Right. So you're saying on balance, so Steven the... Gerrard was shit at tackling. Pardon my language. That, that, that. What do you mean? I'm not. No, it's a genuine question. Was Steven Gerrard poor at tackling? No, defensively, he was better than Gerrard at that. Than scores at tackling. Wait, so, no. But you just said that's not. Part yeah, but of remember, it. that's not he, part he, of the he came, game. Through, he came through as a hold DM. On, hold on, no, he didn't. He came through as a DM. In the team, he came through as a DM. Just because he, they well, played him at DM doesn't mean he's a DM. I know, but we're saying Skulls never had that DM focus. Trent came through as a centre mid. but got played at right back. Well. His ability didn't get ability to send him in there, did it? And play where you play where you fit in. And you're not, trying to get into the team. Let's not conflate two things, yeah? Just because someone is good at something doesn't now make that crucial for his role. So what we're saying is the defensive midfield part of Paul Scholes' game 
Was it detrimental to his overall input to the team? No. If it wasn't, he wouldn't have been a starter in what is still the most successful Premier League team ever. Right? He, he was, how many Premier Leagues has that guy won? Six, seven, eight, something mm. stupid. But so you we, don't win them by yourself. What I'm asking no, I, about I, is I, their ability I, I know as a player. I know you don't win them by yourself, but the point we're making is he was able to do that consistently year after year after year. When Trent does, we can compare it. He's been doing it for six months. Not even six months. He's been because he didn't play for the summer. He's, he's been doing it at this level, and he's just recently added goals <laughs> on a regular basis. It's too early to start comparing him with one of the. Yeah, I'm not saying one that of the he, Premier he won't go on to be a better player than. Yeah, goal. he might do. But I think you can't but today take, now. Yeah, you can't take Sunday, his goal to his career. December. Yeah. No. I'm not saying it won't happen. I'm just saying right now it's not there. <laughs> no, that is mad. <laughs> That's a poor skull. Hundred percent. Stand on it. Ah. Some of the things you stand on. <laughs> the range of passing, shooting. All right. As I said, does it for long enough? For the counts for long enough? They cool. <laughs> Bruv, he's a joker. <laughs> anyway, um, then three days later, everyone suits up again. My United v Bournemouth. My United Old Trafford. Um, it's interesting. I was listening to a couple of podcasts today late. They were predicting this weekend's fixtures. And then you're right, said, I've got a feeling Bournemouth going to yeah, And everyone was like, what? Bournemouth at Old Trafford, blah, blah, blah. And I th- I felt like they would get a draw. I didn't I mean, think they would win. That's, that's not crazy, is it, really? No. Nah. Well, Bournemouth, what? To beat United. Oh, no, that's at least. But when he said it, they all acted like he was crazy. That's not crazy. But I, I, I thought they would get a draw. I didn't think they would lose it, especially after they won Chelsea in the weekend, during the week. Bournemouth have been okay, but, you know. But 3-0 lost to Bournemouth at home. Is it one of these things or is it alarm bells? And like, these are not games to be losing at Old Trafford. Or have we been there before? It's normal. been losing games it's normal like now at Old Trafford. Yeah, it's like, if Man United lose at Old Trafford, it's like, meh. No, but this is Bournemouth, bro. bro they, yeah, it doesn't matter though. They've got, they season, they lost they've got 19 <laughs> points. It doesn't matter. They lost these kind of games last season as well and the season before yeah. at and Old Trafford. I don't think Bournemouth had lost there might have been like three wins out of four going into that game. Yeah, yeah. So and yeah, yeah. turned it three around. wins yeah. out of the four they've had all season. <laughs> <laughs> they would won one game before that run, but that run gets you going, innit? it? It's poor, man. Solanke scores within six, five minutes. Yeah, and they might have had a penalty before then. With, yeah. Um, or no, no. I think he might he might have tripped Solanke or tripped nearly tripped him. Um, it's just crazy. Some of the goals, three headers. I mean, Philip Billing, to be fair, that was just a strong header over Parry. How, but I don't understand how Ronaldo didn't save that. Because it seemed like it was mm? right right by his hand. Mm. No, I don't know, man. That that, that header was in with some power. I thought, yeah, I think it was too close to him, man. I think he should have I think he should have saved Billing's one, to be honest. And then the Senesi one. Harry Maguire's having a daydream. Yep. And the guy yeah. just heads in. We'll give you that. But well, it's managing the month curse, isn't it? They say you win manager of the month, you normally lose your, the game after. <laughs> your next game, isn't Play it? Play so... manager of the month after. Ooh. I'm just tired. I'm tired of... I don't know. I don't know. Why are you tired? I mean, at this point, it is what it is. Does it... There, there, there's nothing... There's nothing that's going to change. There's nothing... <laughs> they're not going to get better. And like Davos says, they're, they're not going to get better. It is what it is. They've, there's, a, there's a cancer in that team, in that dressing room. What do you do? Is it the manager? Is it... You, there's only so many players. It's not the manager. Out. It's not just the manager. It's not just the manager, but... And it's I not think, just the players. <laughs> I think he's getting a lot of air cover, the manager, because Man United has been rotten for a long time. Rotten to the core. But two things can be true. The club can be rotten, and you're not doing your job as well as you should be doing it. Yeah, and we've gone back to the transfer policy as well, like... Of all the transfers that have come in, none of them have elevated the squad to any kind of level. Like, but no, it doesn't even look like they've gone and bought with a strategy. Well, but he had a lot of control over the transfer policy. That's what I'm saying. There doesn't seem to yeah. be a strategy. Yeah. I so, think to, and so to Keith's point, it's just... I think if Radcliffe comes fire. in and he does get the football control, I think Ten Hag is gone. You think? Yeah, I think so. I think Who's gone. there though? Like, that's... Listen, that's the question, isn't it? Like, go back to Chelsea as well. Like, if they get rid of Pot, Conte, his phone is going to be ringing. Remember, I told you, bro. I wouldn't but they touch didn't, that. But they didn't, I, they I didn't wouldn't. like the style of play. So, I, like, well, if you go and look at what Directive has done at other clubs, 
Just go and look. He doesn't care what people think. He brought in the guy, um, I think his name is Bros for the one that used to do Team Sky, cycling. He brought him as director of football at a football club. Yeah. Radcliffe doesn't care. He's doing what he thinks works, etc. And sometimes as well, you know, I think there's a little bit of, I don't know if it's ego, whatever. You've made that kind of investment. You've got control. You want to make a bit of a stamp. You want to say, this is my, this is my team. This is my guy. Look what I did. Yeah. Does he, does he and I think he, say for 25% though? No. Like, that's part of the negotiations. He wants the 25%, but that's fine. So but he wants control. Or... He oh, wants okay. control of the football. Because that can be two separate things. You can no, agree okay, that. Fair enough. I, I wouldn't personally do it, but. But yeah. they, if they, if they give up that football inside control and things get better, yeah. It helps them anyway. Uh, exactly. So they could be like, right, if you turn things around, and, yeah. we're going to carry on bankrupt. We you know? can fully just step back and say, it's on you now. Yeah. If, and, so and they yeah. don't get no heat yeah, no exactly. more. Exactly, literally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so you can't say, you can't be like the Glazers. Mm. He's can run in the club. He's still a majority of the club, so there's certain certain actions you could take, etc. Yeah, et yeah. So yeah, I, I do think if Rackley comes in, I think he's gone, bro. I'm not going to lie. I think he's gone. Apparently, he's the part. Of, he's already had conversations with him about Sancho, telling him, "Listen, you're gonna have to go and make peace." Really? You're gonna have to bring him in. Really? Yeah. But even at the weekend, like he said, Sancho knows what he needs to do to get back in with the, the team. I think he's handled that all. So, right. I think it's gone too yeah. far now. I I, think, I genuinely believe this club is rotten. Like he mm. said, rotten. I think mm. that was a very apt word. Um, what will Change it for them. Mm. <laughs> Who knows? I d- yeah, it might. It might just be like you said, Radcliffe well, coming you, in man. and just just, just it up, in it? literally Bro, come in. Get like you know, them ones where some you come like a whirlwind. Yeah. Just whew, Bro, if you, through the whole you, team. Because you think about it, obviously, there's lots of managers out there that we don't know if they could go and pluck us the Zerbi or something. Fine, right? Another the Zerbi from somewhere. But when you think about, when I just think about the type of. Um, Profile we've seen from that ownership before, and it wouldn't surprise me, man. Conte would come in. Nobody there is saying him to Conte. No player there is saying anything to him. You ever like it or you sit down and sharp. But they will play a certain way. It won't be nice, but are they seeing nice stuff now? Mm-hmm. If Conte came in and did what he did at Spurs and makes them uh, t- tighten up at the back, top four, fans won't be won't be won't be crying. Give him a year and a half deal, and then you second yourself, and then. Then you then you go and get the the next upward thing. It's not personally what I would do, but if they did that, I couldn't blame them. I wouldn't be able to blame them. And also, in recent times, how many managers have done well in this league? Pep, Klopp, Conte. Yeah. Mourinho. Mourinho. When was the last time Mourinho won the league though? He, won the last it, but he finished second with United. Yeah, 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 true, yeah, true. Yeah. yeah. And Mourinho's not coming back. Yeah. That was the, the so if I, if, I, if you look at it like that, I say, well, well, hold on. Arteta, fine. Came second. Mm. That's it. There's, there's a handful of guys who've, who've have shown, either won this yeah. league or done anything in this league recently. Yeah. And I only consider second because, I mean, like yeah. you're, you're, to take United to second, that's your own yeah. stuff. Yeah. And he said that and everyone would laugh at him. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. Now look. <laughs> he said, if you see what I've been working with here, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, take them to yeah, second. It's my biggest achievement. Yeah, so, wow. And that's the only thing, like, we can do the better thing every week and this thing, but I just always think about what changes? And I just find it interesting where everyone's like, no, can't change the manager. It'll be the same thing again. No, no. He, 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 it can be the headline thing of etc. And he's not doing that well because when he did well, when they won the, the League Cup and they came second and they qualified for Champions League, he was doing well despite all of that, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. So now he's not doing well. Well, it's not his fault and it's everything else. Okay. It doesn't work both ways. Yeah. Like it's weird that they haven't kicked on since then. You'd be like, right, First season, got a trophy. Oh, nice. Qualify for Champions League. Nice. Let's, we got the building blocks for... Nah, I, then I, it's just like... I don't think it is weird because like you say, the, it, time tells. The transfer policy hasn't been good enough. Yeah, Mason Mount, I still... I'm, I've been banging on since it happened. Like, well, I, you know what? I think I that one is like... It. It's, it's the Anthony one for me. Mason what? Mount was 50, 60 mil. But that, that, that Anthony one, that Anthony one for me, the Anthony one for me was the one. That, that was the one. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, like I say, you can kind of get away with Anthony because it was the first season, isn't it? And um, he can say, well, first season I won a trophy and we qualified. I think now it's kind of showing its head in it a bit more. Because you, like you said, for me, I think you, 
you've got to kick on in it. Like, you've done okay your first season. Yeah. He's, like, he's reg- everyone's regressed in it apart from Harry Maguire. Like, it's just, <laughs> And like he couldn't regress any further. Yeah. He couldn't regress any further. He couldn't regress any further. You know, remember that time I predicted for one city? <laughs> mm-hmm. And I said to them, I've got the same feeling. I was telling them about that on the pod. And then I said to them, I've got the same feeling. Villa, I'm going to win. So at first I said 3-1. He was like, oh, you're just being a Liverpool fan. You're biased. I said, okay, I'll remove my bias. I still think Villa are going to win by one goal. Mm. And I'm saying 2-1. So I'll remove one goal. I'll come down to 2-1. And they won one nil. I'm so happy. Yeah, I bet you were chief. I'm so happy. You know that when Pep said, I'm so happy. <laughs> Don't worry, your time will come, bro. Your time will come. <laughs> these these scraping, your scrapings. Your you know, you know what I, I enjoy about the Arsenal defeats? And there, there haven't been that many. Yeah. It's the Arsenal fan fallout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I just They all read from the same book. I guess no, to be fair, there are and they there all fall some, out the no, same. No, no, there are some kind of sensible ones, like one sitting across from me. Couple others, but in, <laughs> in general, it's like so much doom and gloom, and like this shouldn't happen to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and ah, oh, it's a travesty. It's like yeah. sometimes you're just not. Just bruv. You're and just and got... this is what I think that this loss is not an indictment on Arsenal. Yeah, I don't think not, so. No, not at I just all. think no, you. I just think us Aston Villa are just on a roll, bro. No, I get that, but it is a little bit. So that's why when people start talking about the ref and all of this, I said no, 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 mm. no, 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 because. We had enough chances to either push Villa because I don't think if we score them chances, Villa don't have a response, mm. right? Yeah. So mm. if uh, you know Odegaard scores that one where he shifts it on his left and then P rolls it to the keeper, <laughs> or the one that comes to him across the box and he literally just has to slot it in mm. far post, mm. I don't think uh, we win two one. I think Villa up their game. Don't get me wrong, but if <laughs> if you're not taking those kind of chances, then the ha- the ha- Havertz goal being set up, like, bruv, we've seen those. Been disallowed. We've seen this been disallowed. Yeah, and there was about three handballs in the lead up to that. Yeah, dude, I thought Cash handballed it first. Like I'm gonna, I thought, oh, if they're checking, it might be for a Cash handball, but it is what it so is. So you man. could argue how did the ref know? But, bruv, that fine. is that was a yeah, that was one. Yeah. That, was, that was, one. was a yeah. call. He plucked it out of the air. Yeah, yeah, yo, he did, he did, he did. <laughs> but my thing is, my thing is, when you created those kind of decent chances at a team like uh, Villa who are on the roll mm. and away, you take them. Then you can moan and complain mm-hmm. about that. So I've got no issues. I've got no issues with the refereeing and this is yesterday when it comes to the result. Because we should have put that result to 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 bed. Mm-hmm. And we know what it's like because it took a fortuitous goal to beat them last year. Mm-hmm. You know, that ball comes off the bar, hits Oh yeah, the other you, goal. you know, even though it could happen to a nicer fucking idiot. Whoops. <laughs> could happen to a nicer idiot in the game. That tells you what they're like at home. So I think um I think from me, from Arsenal point of view, I just I, I think we've got no one else to blame. I think yeah. Villa played very well. And you didn't you didn't play bad. Like I know, a lot yeah, of people are kind saying, of they didn't play bad. on to Rice saying, oh, 100 million no, should be could, doing better. I'm like, Rice, right. Rice didn't have a bad game. Like, Arsenal, I thought Arsenal played better yesterday than they did against Luton. Yo, this mid, midweek. Listen, I, I was meaning to get onto you about like, this statement. <laughs> of course I'm they're like, gonna play better. No, but I'm saying like it's Luton and Villa. Every, it's Luton no, and Villa. I know, but everyone's saying, oh, like. Arsenal were so bad yesterday. No one said Arsenal were bad against Luton. They were so. I'm just saying, like, but because we won, it. <laughs> yeah, but, just, but no, it's just like context, no, but I know what you mean. Like, but it's just it's not it's not the end of the world, but, but, man. Yeah, no. But don't you think it's, no, not, it's, it's not, 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 not the end of the world? But don't you think you can say you didn't play to the level that you know you needed to beat Villa at, at home? That's my thing. Yeah. So good or bad, you're going to Villa. They've won 13 games or something, or 14 games at home. In a row, best home league in the best home form in the league. Come on, man! And that's not the result. That's not the performance that allows you to beat them. They they scored so early, <clears throat> and Arsenal fans of all fans shouldn't expect Emery to go out and then be expansive against one of the best teams in the league. He's gonna be like, right, let's yeah, sit tight, no. let's let's close it up. It's not like they're playing like a lesser team where they might go and score like two, three more goals. They're mm. playing Arsenal, who they know are gonna create chances. They done what they had to do to see out the game. And I don't think. I don't think Odegaard's firing at the moment because, again, he takes those two chances. There's a couple of transitions where Aston Villa's setup was a little bit exposed. Havertz made some good runs, etc. So I just think we just weren't good enough. The yeah, better he, team won. It was a good goal. It was a fantastic performance. Um, the Jesus chance, man. Well, when he miscontrolled it. Well done. Like, I just like, how? You remember, he said goals aren't his thing. <laughs> Wait, no, that wasn't even a, <laughs> like... 
you just couldn't control it. The amount of times he gave the ball away yesterday. He wanted to bring it in. Oh, oh, the amount of, and that's what I'm saying, it was a great performance. The amount of wayward passes yesterday, you know, the crowd gets on to, hey, and then they just starts to build from there. I'm watching this game thinking, yeah, you don't aren't on it today. Not, not only like they weren't giving effort, but you're not on it with your execution today. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, that, that villain machine is well oiled. And then uh, in commentary, they said something that's so true. They were like, Emery knows, yeah, you could, not everyone can play like this for 90, you know, 9,500 minutes. So at some point, he's going to bring on fresh legs in certain spots. And that's what he did. Yeah, and yeah, a, that's it. A good and man as usual, <sighs> brother Mikel, you get me? He doesn't, his game management, I still I still think his game management is up for serious debate, bro. Really? Yeah. I, like, sometimes the subs he makes, when he makes them, they don't make any sense. They really, really don't make any sense to me. But wasn't that a club issue for a little while? Yeah. I oh, did you not feel the same? Yeah, yeah I said on here. Yeah, like, I know yeah, Keith said it a while. There times where his in-game management, I was just like, if he just honed it a little bit more, we'd get a more, bit more out of that, particular games. He had and, that weird thing of always subbing on the hour. Yeah, 60 minutes, like, Always there's certain wait. people yeah. that should get subbed that he won't sub them and, yeah. and I'll be honest if there's a one-on-one I want Martinelli on, on that instead of Jesus I'll be honest yeah. out of them two I'm picking Martinelli on the evidence we have one of them is more likely to finish than the other mm. one is more likely to finish than the other um, so so yeah fair play to Villa we should have taken our chances yes couple of dubious ones but I'm not going to lie the mighty cash handball that would be giving against us I'm fuming yeah 100% even a Jay-Z's penalty. I think that was... Considering what happened earlier in the day... Yeah, yeah, no, no. You'd think, right, that's going to be given. Yeah. But, like I say, there's no consistency across the... And then I screamed pen, and I thought, you screaming pen because you need it. Like, <laughs> you yeah, you are, one, like, one. Yeah. <laughs> so, can, there, can there ever be consistency? Yes, I think so. I think not on... More consistency not, than we got today. Yeah. Okay. There should be consistency in VAR. I think for refs, you've got to be a little bit more open because not not incident, not every incident is going to be exactly the same. But Bingo. when it comes to VAR and there's incidents who are, again, they're not going to be entirely, exactly the same. But when they're in the same kind of circle, or it's the circle a little bit off and you've got the benefit of, of VAR, which the they went to VAR for the penalty incident mm. after they would have seen what happened in the Palace-Liverpool game, you've got to be like, Yo. right, Yo. That's a full point, actually. Yeah. Yo. So, we'll get there. <laughs> Yo. So so they can stop a game. What a minute and a half after this the, the situation's happened. We'll no, get there. That we'll one get was we'll different get there. We'll get there. though. Yeah, because I think it's different. We need to tackle it when we talk about our game. You know which moment I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We talk about the Liverpool Spurs. Yeah. 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 Why is that different? That's a good question, you know. Because that the 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 VAR technician alerted them that the decision was wrong. But I remember the ball And then they, the reason they stopped is because they said, well, the game's carried on. Well, but I was at the game yesterday. The ball didn't get out of play after the, after the penalty incident. So with our game, everything stopped. Yeah. And then it and carried then, on. Then it reset. Then it reset. So remember, they, they had the offside. They said it was goal, no goal. Mm. Done the free kick. So the game had stopped. So that's what, yeah, yeah. And, and then, then it went out again. It went out again for a throw But on. that initial incident had been forgotten about, had been... And also, there was yeah. no decision on it. With your one, they gave it offside instead of the yeah, goal. Yeah. So and then it restarted. Yeah. So I, I hear where you're coming from, but mm. it, yeah, it was, it was different. Yeah. But, but yeah, yeah, yeah so I think... Like, it's still seconds. Yeah, losing, still... losing to this Villa, team away I, from home. Yeah, I don't think you could be mad about yeah, you it, can't, honestly. you can't be mad at it, innit? Like, at all. The only it thing just is... just be City 1-0. Yeah, no. Nah, the only thing is, it says, you'd argue, again, if... When you see the chances we had, you say it's mm. a missed opportunity. Just you need every single point you can. Yeah. Again, when City are roll in the league, and the way Liverpool are firing bro, right now, bro. you need every point. It's like I said about get. last season, it wasn't the City game. Forget the City game. It was Southampton. It was West Ham. It was those Liverpool. games. Yeah. Mm. And it's the same thing now. People say oh, it's a bit early, but no, it not. adds pressure. <laughs> it adds not. pressure. It's not. It's not that. It's. It's yeah, not. It adds pressure. So anyway, uh, fantastic for Villa. They're third now. Um, and I think the thing for me with them is to see how long they can keep it up. Mm. Because again, they got players in their team that aren't used to playing at this end of the table. That aren't they? they when it comes to again March, April, yeah, frequency of games. Are right? they going to be able to maintain this standard and that intensity when the pressure is really, really, really on? And mm. we've seen that that does matter. We, we saw that with Arsenal, right? 
you know, rappers don't make a mistake, players make mistakes. We've seen that before. So, so yeah, fair play to them. I think either way, if they finish top six, I think Emery's done a fantastic job again. Yeah, regardless. Yeah. But he's going to want to... I just knew we weren't beating them, bro. See, when it comes to Arsenal, Emery's <laughs> always... Every season he's in the Prem, he's going to mark those two games because I know... He feels it was done dirty by Arsenal. He feels it was done dirty by Arsenal. He should have had more of a chance. <clears throat> Didn't get the players he wants, et cetera, et cetera. So... I was more confident about you beating them than I was Man City. Mm. Why? But wait, wait, even after the Man City performance? Yeah. Nah, bro. After the Man City performance they, and how we played against Luton. Remember, no. they, they bopped City. Like, I watched that game. City could barely get out of their heart. And that's why I said I wasn't that's sure. that's why I said the Villa were going to beat Arsenal. No, but Arsenal kind of nullified that. They're, like, apart from well, the goal, which, which, which they... came from, mm. like, the goalkeeper. Yeah. Like, however many passes, which is a really good goal. There, were, there weren't many times where they cut you open, where against City... They were just in, slicing in, in. them. My, you see, my move for the game. goal, yeah? That turn, that touch, turn and pass from Tillemans, that was key. Yeah. Key. When he did that, I said, oh. My, my, thing, on the city, my thing on City is this. They're, they're getting ready for the Club World Cup. I think these games are just collateral, whatever. Yeah. I, I, gen, that's my, what? I, know, I, I understand know. that. I understand. I know, and people will probably sit there and say, what? What's he talking about? they've never won. Yeah. No, I think, I genuinely believe it's a case of It's still quite early in the season. We're halfway, yeah. right? We go do we go do the club world cup. We come back. Some of these other teams are going to lose players when the Afcon kicks it and the South South Asian games kick up. Yep, and they don't. We're they, not losing anyone. City don't buy those them type of man. <laughs> so when so. it's time for us to kick on, and everyone's weak, we'll be rolling. Yeah, I'm still standing. I don't. By. I genuinely don't think. I genuinely just think. It, <laughs> I yeah. my it's my in my opinion, I believe. City are not asked about these two games. Yeah, I, these I, games. I think, I think they need to be a little bit careful because I think if Liverpool are in the same position that Arsenal were in last season, you've yeah. got more. You've got more experienced players. You've got people that have been there. Well, you've got more experienced manager. Firstly, because mm. I don't know if how many players were here when you won the league. Van Dijk, Salah. It's only the midfield. Only the midfield yeah, really changed. Oh, yeah, yeah, fair. Yeah. So and you got, and the front and two yeah, of the yeah, front. Yeah, 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 yeah. So so I, I hear what you're saying, but they got they got to be careful. They they, they do have to be careful. Yeah, I think we, they do, man. And we talk about the the winning run and I I get that, but it was almost a little bit too horse last time. I mm. definitely don't think it's that this time. Um, and they don't want to get to. I mean, what are we now? Where in by the end of December we'll be halfway through in terms of games. Well, the next three, two and a half weeks, right? Nineteen games. Wow. They and don't want to get to well, that point. We, like you say, last year was like a two-horse race, so they were essentially just looking forward all the time last mm-hmm. year. Really. It's like, well, we don't need to worry about what's going on behind us. I think there's going to be more teams in the mix to the latter end of the, the season. Like, even this weekend, like, Arsenal lost to Villa, and now you've got, you're worried about Villa overtaking you if, if you lose your next game and they mm-hmm. win their next game. Mm-hmm. Like, if there's more teams in the mix and you've got to worry about catching and staying in front of the person behind you, yeah, I think it's gonna be it's gonna be techie. I, I mean, think that... City are four points behind Liverpool today. You know how many? Okay, how many points off the top did they have to be before you reckon the normal City run isn't gonna save them? Give me a number. Fifteen. Yo, 15? no, <laughs> no. I'd say... Hey, I'm not going to lie. I'd say I six to... I'd say six to ten. Six? Six to that's ten. That's not enough. Two, that's two games. Six is not enough, bro. That's not enough, bro. They, not enough. <laughs> All it takes is for a dodgy... Uh, away last game minute. with United. Yeah. And last they win minute three points. Yeah, mm. but... I d- and then you back like them. They, they might not... But the thing, I don't think they're going to go... They might have an unbeaten run, but I don't think they're all going to be wins. Like, they might... I think they're going to, like, draw games. And I think... <laughs> It's going to be a mad season. Like, right, put it I, in my head. No, I get that, but I, fi- I, I think I think if the okay, gap is 15 right, points... I'll say 10. I'll say 10. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at City like they might not make this, you know. Yeah, I'll say 10. Uh, um, I had 12 in my head, but I'll be honest. I think... I think nine points. Nine? Yeah, I think... Uh, okay, okay. At what stage? Yeah, yeah, I was just about to say. So, we talk about their March. run from like February onwards. If, March, April, the business end, didn't it? Yeah, and it depends yeah. who as well. But if Arsenal or Liverpool... Our top 
Um, and we're doing a disservice because we're discarding everybody else here. But if mm-hmm. Arsenal and Liverpool are top at the end of February and Man City are nine points or less away, then for me, it's still, it's still on. Mm-hmm. But if they got nine, they're nine points away from the leaders, which I don't think happens, but they're, yeah, they're four points now. They're nine points away from the leaders, first of March. Uh, I think that's enough. I enough. think that's enough. Okay. It's a big ask, though. They won't be. They won't. Uh, yeah, I don't <laughs> think they'll be. <laughs> I think I think they'll probably be within five. Of, I think there'll be a five point spread between first and third by the end of February. Yeah, and I think it helps them as well because, obviously, as you say, everyone can take. You know, I don't know if when have you, have you guys played Villa? Yeah, we beat them at home. Are you, so you you still go to Villa Park? Yeah, mm-hmm. but our, our games against the bigger teams are yeah. favourable, so we've only got to go to you and United. Everyone else and or and Villa. Everyone else has got to come to, to Anfield. Come to Anfield, which is quite favourable. I would yeah, say. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, so, so I'm agree. still, I'm still holding fire, but but yeah, they do, they just have to they just have to watch it, man. Like you start getting to six, six points behind and all of that business. The only thing I would say, the flip side though, is, you know, players like Duku, um, Radio, etc. By Feb, they've bedded in. And if you haven't, Klopp doesn't play you, right? I mean, Pep doesn't play you. We know this. So if you're not going to... So, what, because it's Calvin? <laughs> yeah, but he didn't say anything we didn't know. This, no, but I mean, what he said, just, he showed us. I mean, okay. So when it was announced that he was going, everyone, I think anyone with a brain was like, what the hell is I going on here? Where's this coming from? What's going on here? He's not a... I'm growing talent. And I think that was the, the that was the kind of consensus, right? Yeah, Homegrown, same when Drinkwater went to Chelsea. Homegrown so, talent. Quote, they, quote if you can signing. afford if you can afford to spend fifty million to hit your quota. No, nah, we it. need to check that. But, but, they, but I don't know if they were in any danger at that point. They aren't. They weren't. But what they just did let's was Sterling there when Calvin was there or was Sterling at the door? As no, Sterling was there. Oh, Sterling was there. Sterling was there for a season, I think. For a season. But it, okay, either way, but, it, it helps to have mm. On players, yeah, yeah. yeah. and on, maybe he saw, squad, right? From what he saw far, yeah, you could do. And, and he played for Bielsa, and you know, Pep's a big Bielsa. Calvin yeah. Phillips was never getting in that team. I, I agree. He never, never, ever, never, no, but I'm team. saying, never, ever. maybe they thought he would. If you come here, you've got the right attributes. We will put you in the machine, da 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 da. Because he was, got to training and he didn't. Who was it? Rodri? <laughs> Wasn't there someone else there? Fabinho was Fabinho there when he got there, but he already left. No, he left in it. So he was. Fernandinho. Replace, yeah, Fernandinho, Fernandinho was, sorry. was the replacement, innit? Like, like, <laughs> that sounds mad when you say it. That, yeah, was, he yeah. was never getting Dude, in that never, squad. Never in a million never. years started in that team. And Rodri's, Rodri's, not, and Rodri's like, not an old guy. It wasn't like he's coming in to just sit around and wait for Rodri like, to... Fo- from Phillips, Rodri's point, I get it. Like, he was at Leeds. Leeds are, the Leeds were down, innit? Yeah. Then, yeah. Yeah. You get in a, a bumper pay check at City. You're... No, no, no. He went there before Leeds went down, no? Leeds only went down this season. Oh, sorry. Okay, yeah, sorry. So he's been there. Well, he was yeah. there one year. Oh, yeah, yeah. So he went off the crest of them being. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, I, I, like, if you're not going to turn that down, innit? Like, I understand it. Okay, why the, Why are you not going to turn hmm, that down? I'm going to tell you that. Yeah. Why are you not going to turn that Hold down? Hold on, Keith, sorry. Are, are you assuming that City are the only one that came from? No, there was there was other teams. There were yeah, other there teams. must have been. No, there, there were. But there were other teams. Were they, what, what, what other teams willing to pay 50 million, though? That's what you got. No. <laughs> yeah, we got, like, we did, that's why we need the agent in there to be like, listen. Yeah. Honestly, you having that convo because you're gonna go, so you're gonna play. Like the, his stock was high at the time. He goes anywhere but City in this league. He plays. He plays. He plays. So I, so I think he might have thought, oh, I've got a chance because I've, I've just been named England Player of the Year. Mm. Like you say, been at Leeds under Bielsa, yeah. had a fairly good stint in the Premier League. Like I'm, I'm known. People know who I am. Yeah. I can, let me see if I can go there and showcase my talent. Yeah. So I think that's why he's been like. Oh yeah, let, let me let me go there and and see what I could do. Like yeah. you wouldn't you wouldn't turn it down if you kind of got that in your locker a little bit. But like you say, when you get there, you do that first rondo. Yeah, <laughs> things are different. <laughs> <laughs> no, you say you got found that in the first <laughs> rondo. <laughs> so, That's crazy. And when Pep calls you, that bro, is crazy. Well, are you really said no. It's, it's tough. It's a tough yeah. one. I, I get it. The glitz and the glamour, one. the bells, the Probably fancy bells, and the whistles. And he's got a treble on his back, and like. It's Pep. Nah, he got a treble. No one nah, can just do him, really. Nah, to Bielsa. Bielsa would be like, go and play for him. He's fantastic. He's a great manager. Like, yeah, yeah. It's easy for me to sit here now and be like, why would you go there? But I, 
when he when that trust up, I was like, even at the time, gonna, I was still saying the same thing. I said, this guy's not gonna play. He's not going to play. Rodri is locked in, locked. For me at that time, there were people that didn't get rotated. Rodri, De Bruyne, Edison, and they had Gundogan. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Where are you playing, bro? I like, seriously, like, where are you playing? Lewis, Lewis is ahead of you now. Like, in midfield. Like, Lewis ain't even a midfielder too tough. Like, and he's starting him ahead of him. Mm. Like, What's the guy that bought from, from Wolves? Nunes? Oh, yeah, Nunes. Yeah, Matthias Nunes. Doesn't yeah. he play the same position? No. Yeah. Or, oh, no. It's, uh, what's his name? The guy from Chelsea. Kovacic. Yeah, Kovacic. Kovacic. So, <laughs> yeah, so they bought Kovacic to be like, to replace you, essentially. Uh. <laughs> like, imagine seeing that in, in the summer. Like, bro, they're spending 30 million on the man. And again, he why have you not left? He should have bounced. Exactly. Kovacic he should have bounced. Pedigree, man. Real Madrid, Kovacic, Chelsea. I would have been like, five I'd have been like oh, yeah. loan. Because Pep even said, I will. I, I don't mind loaning players to other premish, yeah, premiership okay. teams. Like, bro, I, I would have said to him, We better ring Ten Hag now. He could do with me. Bro, no, new, I think he should go to Newcastle. If he went Newcastle on loan to cover Talani. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Yeah, it goes. Uh, yeah, I just my uh, what irked me about this Pep coming out and saying that. Yeah, it's, t- it's, my it, it's just like, it's bro, my don't do the, don't be performative, don't do all of that for the media, right? Like you pointed off though. Yeah, yeah, it is, and uh, you're, I'm uh, so sorry. Yeah, he's a nice guy. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He's just, I. Well, that's normal for I, him though. I have a vision, and he just doesn't fit that vision. I, and this is nationally, <laughs> yeah, speak. internationally even. <laughs> Like, come on, don't do me and like that. And he's got form for that, right? Because remember when he said, um, when he was, uh, he did the three at the back with the inverted, he's like, Carl Walker can't do this. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> bro, we all know it. You'd have to say it. Like, don't say he said, it, no, Carl Walker, just, just... And it, what he said wasn't bad. It, it, it's just a fact. There are some things some footballers kind of can't do. But it came across. But it's the um, openness of, like, the British media. Yeah. So are not used to that openness of yeah, coaches again. Yeah, yeah, it's all yeah, it's like yeah. generally kind of yeah. oh, I said behind closed doors, yeah, don't yeah. throw your players under the bus. Yeah. But ultimately, Pep would have said this to Walker and Phillips yeah. before he, he said it in the press conference. Yeah, but then okay, just, but then find well, me a team then. No, no, I thought he's up to find your team. <laughs> but what I was gonna say is if I said it, if you if I said it to you here, like in the dressing room or in my office, why do I need to go and say it in the press conference? Why? I just think it's mad. But well, and okay, if they so ask you why I'm not playing said, as a consumer, no, uh, okay, if they said. ask you why why I'm not playing, which I'm probably assuming what the question yeah, yeah, was, was, right? Then just say, look, it's tough right now. I'm not upsetting <laughs> the balance of the team. <laughs> so, but but the, the counter would be, oh, you're on a bit of a slump. How come Calvin hasn't been able to get into the team? Because uh, I don't want to slump to get worse. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, no, I'm joking. It's, it, to be fair. And and that was a good point. Sometimes when we discuss these things that managers say, we forget what they're asked. Mm. Because yeah, the yeah. question usually backs you up. Because even the whole thing where he had a go at Jamie Carragher, which I thought was hilarious, uh, and Carragher's clapback um, was poor, in my opinion. Yeah, he went for it was the, funny. Whole of, the whole of the Sky Punditry team, innit? Like? Yeah, yeah. It was funny, but it was a poor clapback yeah. because he's forgetting that a lot of these other teams have spent just as much as Man City and have done nothing with it. So anyway... Um, so yeah, but I think there, there was a nicer way. There was a, there was other ways to do it and just be like, look, I, they usually, you could have done the usual manager thing. Look, I picked the team, the best team to win, you know, uh, and I can, I can only pick yeah. eleven players. He, he essentially put a nail in the coffin in his city career, in it oh. by saying, yeah, yeah, that was done, that yeah. was done. But do you know what? It's, sorry, I know you want to move on just yeah. quickly. It's just it's a it's <sighs> damning. It's very damning because then you've got Southgate who continues to. Use <laughs> and then you've got the best manager in the world saying he's a nice guy, he's just not good yeah. enough. <laughs> to be fair, it's the second time. Enough. Remember, was it this? Yeah, it must have been this preseason. He came back overweight, innit? And, yeah, and Pep was like, oh, he come back a bit overweight. Uh, uh, yeah. right, listen, <laughs> you see this Southgate guy, we're gonna remember him in different ways. Yeah, when he leaves that job. Agreed. I'm telling you, because Agreed. there's an argument to say he's had England's best generation of players. For some time. Mm. Since what? Euro 90... What was the one everyone said that they should have probably got to the final? Was it Euro 96? Oh, yeah, yeah. We should, yeah. Yeah. We went out penalty. Should yeah, 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 yeah. Like, there's a big, big argument. You look at the players now, what they're doing in their but leagues, in their we, teams. England have had... I'd like, I'm sorry to digress, but England have had quite a few good squads... Not, not like over, this though. Over the, over the years. Not like this though. This is the best squad since good generation. Yeah, bro. the O2 squad was decent. Yeah. That Decent. was they, they, they no nah, okay 
Yeah, okay. The, so saying, no, the, the O2, okay. The, the, I the think decent. the O2 squad. We might have to be, because I think. I that think the squad, squad there. I think that first 11 beats this one. Because there's better footballers in that squad. Yeah. Hands down. Mm. Better individual footballers in that squad than this squad. Ashley Do you Cole, think Gareth's doing what he should be with this Michael squad? Michael Owen. Yeah, because I thought Cole, Owen. Terry, Campbell, Neville. That's, and then, was that Sven Goran Oxen squad? Yes. Yeah, O2. and then yes. Lampard, Gerard. Scold, but he shouldn't have played. That was the 0406. Was Makalo in there? Yeah, Owen was from 98. Wait, which squad are you talking about? Because I'm talking about 02. Yeah. Yeah, that was 02, weren't it? No, bro. No, 02 was like David Beckham, um, what was my man? Trevor Sinclair, Joe Cole, Owen Hargreaves. Not Owen Uh, Hargreaves. um, Yeah, we used to revisit this. Yeah, we do. do. Remember, because remember Beckham scored that penalty against. uh, No, Shera. Bro, that 96 team, that. yeah, yo. Even the '98 team was good, but we didn't expect. Nah. No. I think, think I think the I think Euro '96. I think 2002 World Cup. I think the '06 team with the the Lampard phantom goal. I think probably. Yeah. I think it's out of that squad and this squad. Mm. Yeah. So are you saying that Gareth's doing what he should be with this squad? No, he should have done better. He should have okay, done better. He should have won. Yeah, we, we yeah, should have won, won something. Yeah. Should have yeah, won something. Right. Everton, Chelsea. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Isaac, talk to me, man. How are you feeling about Everton's good run of form? Everton. I said it, I said it earlier. I, I hate to admit it. <laughs> but that cheese, that cheese, he's got them rolling. Yeah, I watched man. I watched um not Everton Chelsea. Uh Everton Newcastle. Mm. And the White McNeil is a big problem. Yeah. We've got a running he, joke of him in my other football group, yeah, because someone guy. called him out earlier that he liked him and he has been catching banter. No, I've, for I've liked years. him. I've liked him since his Burnley days. But you know how he's a bull, yeah? Now that my, he's on stuff. No, he's back. Yeah, he's on the seats and everything. Bam, he's Good. Like, Listen. Good. So, no, there's a couple of guys, I don't want to call them rejects, but there's a couple of guys in those in those teams where I think people at one time felt like, you know, look at the Corey. There was time when they talk about him coming to, uh, to Arsenal, going mm-hmm. to West Ham. I've always liked the look, to, look of him personally. I've always, I always thought he was a decent player. Mm-hmm. But he just never... Now, he's a crucial player in his team. He's scoring goals. Again, Dwight McNeil, he played for Berlin. Well, maybe one of the most boring teams in, in the history of the Premiership. <laughs> but you had a little bit about you, left-footed, etc. The uh was there, did a little bit. Obviously, that's good to Fulham. So... <sighs> you look at this, this 11, and it's a dice 11. Like Pickford is a dash player. Isn't I it? can't stand Pickford. Ashley I'm Young, sorry. I can't. He's like he's he's aging, but he's gonna give you the energy that like Dash wants in it. Bro, guaranteed yellow card first half every game. <laughs> <laughs> like every uh, I'm just, every time Everton play a big team, for Ashley Ashley Young to get booked. Must it never fails. It's a must. Never fails. Yeah, I guess. Or, or he, anyone would... against Arsenal, Liverpool. And Man United. Anyone with a bit of pace that he comes up against, it's a booking. Well, even the Liverpool you. game, he got set off. He didn't yeah. get set off in the first half. Yeah, yeah, he did. Yeah. But yeah, like... No, nah, but... The centre-back. You, you, centre back, you need to like get... The young one. Brown Br- 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 Wait, man. Sorry. We're talking about Dutch players. You need to get to the quintessential Dutch player. Who? <laughs> we all know who it is. He was his captain there as well. Tarkovsky. Bro. <laughs> I cannot... I can't stand that, brother. I'm, a, I'm in my front room. <laughs> the way he plays jars me. He's... Proper but he's shit housery, bro. Old Proper English centre back in it. Yeah. Like, that's, and that's that's dire shit, yeah. like, nah, man. And Bramford's yeah. right there with him. Yeah, he like the same mold. Like, no, like they, they they they're gonna go training tomorrow in zero degrees in shorts and like t shirt <laughs> in it. Like that's their in it. Like no, Bramford has <laughs> no, got a little bit more. <laughs> he's got a little bit more football team though. No, he is. He's a little mm, more techy. Yeah. He's I a little more comfortable on the ball, but he's the same mold. You can yeah. see. And playing alongside Tark- Tarkovsky, he's going to learn. He's going to learn yeah, the dark yeah. arts. Like I say, he was at PSV last year, so... And he, he, he did well, apparently. Yeah, he yeah, did he well, stood yeah. out. He stood yeah, out. Yeah. He did well, apparently. Um, he, he got Har- Jack Harrison from C. He's from no, Leeds. Leeds. Leeds, sorry. Yeah. He was at C. Leeds. Was Leeds. Leeds. Yeah, yeah, it's another one. Yeah, Gay will give him the legs of that midfielder that he wants, like yeah, the Corey. change that one in somewhere. And then, yeah, Calvert-Lewin. Like, the target man, isn't it? He's so, the, uh, do you know what? To be fair to Dominic Calvert Lewin, when he's on job, yeah, it makes a he's a problem. Yeah, it makes a big difference. He's a problem. Yeah. If he could just add goals yeah. to his game, yeah, no, it makes a big difference. His mobility, etc. I know that better guy came in, but it just wasn't the same. His touch wasn't the same. Wasn't making the ball stick the same. Like you can see the difference Calvert Lewin makes. 
I'm telling you now, if 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 he can add goals to his game, mm. I think he'll walk straight back into that England squad yeah, yeah, or yeah. into contention. No, I agree. Yeah, but Chelsea had chances, man. Like, I know... I saw, yeah. They had chances, but the goals Chelsea are giving up are just sloppy. Like, it's just... They get so the much space. Goal. Bro, the the core goal. Um, Cavalier goes through. It's saved. And then there's no defenders around him. He's, it, it just kind of rolls to him in the box. And he just slots it in. Yeah. No, like how did he pressure? Jump past the ball as well. Yeah. I think he tried to anticipate where he was going. And he just went the other way. Sanchez like, is shocking, man. No, yeah, he's, he's never, great. never a number one at a top four. Club. He's shocking. Well, when he was at Brighton, I thought he was decent. Yeah, yeah well, but again, Brighton. again, again. All right, so here's the thing for me as well. Brighton's system yeah. will allow for certain players to, to stand up, right? I mean, if our system is to only allow certain types of shots on goal and our keeper knows, like, more than often than not, I'm only going to be facing, figuratively speaking, shots from outside the box. I might get the odd something in the box, but most of the, the way the team's set up, I'm only going to be really fit. I'm comfortable with that. Yeah. You go to a team with Chelsea where we're still trying to figure out a system, we're still trying to figure out a style of play. I'm under more pressure... I look, I look crazy. Yeah. And I mean, it's I a bit of a st- sorry. Go on. I was saying, it's a bit of a panic buy as well because they lost Kepper quite mm. late towards the end of the transfer window, and like we said, the the quality of certain positions mm. in football in general is not great. And who who else would they have gone for? Like he's a, he's a dependable kind of mid table Premiership goalkeeper, mm. and if that's the best out there, that's what you want. Nah, to do, I mean it? the money they were spending, they could have, they could have. There's, you're telling me there's no one in Serie A, there's no one, no one in the Liga, there's no keepers that are better than Sanchez. They might be, but... And they were spending money. They had the money. They yeah, might remember be, the keeper, but, yeah. even if you spend money, like on Anana, doesn't mean... Like, keepers are someone you want to come in and they be... No, but even from Brighton, you said you didn't rate him. No, I didn't. No, it's not, I didn't, it's not that I didn't rate him at Brighton. I thought he's a dependable goalkeeper okay, for fair, Brighton. Fair, fair, fair. But when you step up to a team like yeah, that's what I'm Chelsea, saying. Yeah. yeah. I think you've got a... So then I look at Chelsea's, like, the starting lineup. I did a show on the Sassy, yeah? I don't film me. I've watched the both of them At play. all. Brav. At all. Like, yeah. They need, well, uh, they need experience, but not Thiago Silva experience. Thiago yeah. Silva should have stopped playing. Yeah, he's on the bench. He didn't make it on today. He's got Reese James at right back. Apparently, he's injured again. again. Yeah. Yep. 27 minutes, he went off. Flipping out. Conor Gallagher, who... Personally, I think he's favorite, but let's come for the I, I, his season at Palace, where he was on the ball more, mm. looked class. Mm. I'm sorry, he looked really good. I don't and think I think he should have got here. Yeah, I at Chelsea, yeah. I think they're asking him to do a role yeah. that he shouldn't be doing. Mm. Moses Caicedo, of course. <laughs> Enzo Fernandez, Mujic on the left, man. Cole Palmer on the right, uh, and then Brozier up front. Raheem was on the bench. Nicholas Jackson was on the bench. Levi Cole on the bench. Petrovic, I don't know who that is. Anyone know who that is? No. And then Matson, who I liked in preseason, but I don't see much of him. I just think he's just got too much. I don't know. I, I don't know if we rang him now and said, Maurizio, what is your best 11? I don't know. You can tell us. I don't think no. anyone can tell you. No. And I don't think they no, have but the luxury. Like the they people... don't have the luxury. Mm. I'll find it out. I'll find it. I'll find it out. But it's weird. Like I say, it's weird that he hasn't played Cole at centre back, or not often. Especially when those two are centre yeah, back. Considering how well he done at Brighton last year, and what's at his disposal this year hasn't worked as much as he. I'm sure he would have liked playing. Keep keeping him playing left back. Can I just give him a, well, give him a run out. If Buddy Issue and Desassi can play centre back, Cole can get a game of centre back. Bro. Yeah, but I thought going into the season they're going to play Cole and. Thiago Silva. Mm. That's their centre-back pairing. Mm. But, yeah, they just haven't got the... It's, it's weird to say that they haven't got the quality after spending X amount of, of millions. Yeah, what well, uh, was it Lampard? Or whoever it was, come out and said about Mudrick. Mm. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was, what's his name talking, innit? Harry Redknapp was talking That's about. So Harry saying Redknapp he's sharp. Pod. He's saying he's good. He's sharp. He's, he's got all the athletic ability. Yeah, got the pace. He, just, he just doesn't understand football. Oh, yeah. I read that was like, why have they spent all that money on someone that hasn't got a football brain? Yeah. So he, wow. he's, he's got, he, he's in the gym. He, he puts the work in. He's a proper athlete. Yeah, just doesn't understand the game. I mean, he's Chelsea twelfth now, nineteen points, same points as Bournemouth, one five, drew on four, lost seven. 
He's still got time, That's but it's, it's just mad. Time for what, though? I swear Mourinho didn't lose seven games in his first two, three seasons. <laughs> nah, but you can't Chelsea. compare to Mourinho. I know, but I can say, like, was, the, the levels, that, isn't that, it? That was the special one, Mourinho. Yeah. That was... Didn't you know when he had that... He didn't lose a game at home for three years. Yeah. Nonsense. Yeah, yeah, you can see yeah, the yeah. Man United stat that came out over the weekend. Yeah, yeah. they've now lost home more games. home games than... The entirety of Fergie's ring. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you can underestimate, like, how good the levels were previously, isn't it? Like, that's... Crazy. That's mental. Crazy. And we talk about managers. Again, you look at someone like Unai Emery, right? He had a certain... He had more pedigree than every tanker. I don't care what anyone says. Yeah. yeah. Why? And I just think... I do think this is where people being in quote-unquote fashion or perception takes a much bigger role than I would expect it to at that level of football. Because you look back and you say... And I'm not, I'm not just saying that because of the Villa thing. I do think Emery has suffered from perception problems for a while. Yeah, well, to be fair, that's PSG, why... PSG, et cetera. That's why Villa went for him, innit? Because, like... Because remember, know, Newcastle went for him first and he said, he told him no. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people, a lot of English media will be like, well, his reign at Arsenal wasn't great. Right, it was only 18 months, mm. which in football terms isn't really a, uh, a long a long time. And in that time, he got them, got them fifth, got them to a uh, European League, League final. Yeah. So like was it was it penalty shoot you went out on Chelsea too? Uh, yeah, it was penalty, wasn't yeah, it? Was penalties, yeah. yeah. So like your your penalty shootout away from lifting a, a trophy and getting into the Champions League. So it wasn't for where Arsenal were, it wasn't doom and gloom. And you can see that now you've given a manager time, because bar the, the FA Cup, I know you can't the first 18 months of Arteta to the last 18 months or the 18 yeah. months of Emery. Well but the same. Yeah. Like, well, I don't get it worse. Yeah. You got two eighth place finishes at the fifth. So, so was, yeah, yeah, it's just, and again, there's other names I could put in there, right? You know, how there's names I could put in there where if I said to my United fans at the time, would you consider this person? They would have Fact. told me to go and yeah. jump. Snobbery. Right? Snobbery. But I know the messages I'm going to get after saying this on this pod. But look at the facts of the matter we are today. Look at the facts we are, where we are today. And the only reason I'm on this is because it's not like Ten Hag has gone to a club where he's been told what players to buy. He has had pretty much full control over which players came in. So for me, the last direction of how this squad plays and what it is and isn't doing is on him. My question is this, right? What has he done as a manager? Before the United job? Yeah. Well, he's he won, 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 won leagues in Holland. The era de Vizzi. Yeah. Okay. And he did well in the Champions League. Okay. That's what I'm saying. Like on, like on people. So to your point, why, 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 why not go for like you said, Una Emery? And don't get me wrong, at the time, if you had said or, to me, or, Una Emery, or I might have rubbished you a little bit as well. Someone, I think they wanted to catch the new up and coming yeah. manager on his trajectory, yeah. innit? Yeah. So I think that's why they they went for him. They for will take the risk. To be fair, like if you go back Split, to that, Arsenal did the same thing. And I don't know, like it's like three, four years ago now, innit? That that Ajax team was good. Like they went Real Madrid and bopped Real Madrid. Yeah, but yeah, is that enough yeah. to get that kind of job? And but, the he's, league... but, he's, but he's in the credits there, isn't it? It's like... It's not like Mourinho. I understand what he's saying. I know what you're saying, but it's not like Mourinho. Mourinho didn't get that Chelsea job because of what he did in the league. He got that Chelsea job because of the Champions League win and how he ran that Champions League campaign. Yeah. So if we're talking about a man who won the Champions League from a minnow league, cool. But I also... F- I think he has shown signs of moving from Ajax to Man United and dealing with certain players, and I also think he's showed side of that. So it just struck me, when we talk about managers now, I just thought, if we looked at it objectively, if, if I took away names and faces and you just had people's CVs, I don't know how someone could objectively tell me why Ten Hag's name would have been at the head of the queue against other people. If we took away perception. I agree. You know I what agree. I mean? I agree. Because I've, I've, been, I've been wondering about that for the last couple of days. Like, what is it about Ten Hag that was like, no, this is the guy. Yeah. Right. Speaking of new managers, Spurs, Newcastle. Now, it's really annoying that Spurs have won today. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Newcastle were bad. Trippier. Like, like, again. Really, yeah, trippy again. again. Trips. <laughs> again. And it, it almost, team. it's almost like I knew what I was doing, but I took him out my fantasy team two rounds ago to get, to get trending in it. And since then, he's been not been good. Not being good. Uh, listen, he he 
it just look. He looks like a player that has never played at this level. Cheap. Right, don't hold back, me. And and he's being exposed. <laughs> no, but that's how bad he's looked over the last two games. Yeah, it's a bit a bit mad. The ball got the ball. I don't know if you saw the goal. No, I'm not seeing that, any goals so, the game. Um, I think it was Poro. Yeah, he. It looked like he was trying to play a through ball into Richarlison, but mm. the ball kind of went a bit wayward. Yep. Trippier's backpedaling. How, to to his credit, he had uh, someone. I think it was Kulusevski running across him. So he had Son going that way behind him. Mm. Kulusevski looking like he was going across his path, yeah. right? So he's he looked like he was in two minds. Then he's decided, I'm just going to go where the ball's going. He's backpedaled. He's headed it backwards into Son's path. Son's just put him on ice. He said, all right, let's go. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's shaky, dance. Shaky, shaky. Yeah, yeah. Shaky, shaky. You just give him... That's <laughs> <laughs> it, shaky, shaky. He put him on ice, bro. Just, 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 just. Ball into Richarlison back of the net. And he just looked shaky from that point onwards. I'm oh, sorry, he just did. He did. Mm. Newcastle just look a shell of themselves. Uh, think... And I don't understand what's going on there. Well, it can't I... just be the injuries. They just look a shell of themselves. Well, so I think it's a combination of things, bro. I mean, Champions League, we said, remember, we've, we've been saying since True. they qualified. They've got Milan. Like, we, I think <laughs> this room, we said it the whole summer. Enjoy it, lads. Like, if you don't come out of the group stage, Cool, you overachieved. Yeah. And I think that schedule plus the injuries has been tough on them. Mm. It's been tough because, you know, it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Um, and then people are back, like you said, back, et cetera. But once you get knocked out of rhythm, and they did the same thing last season. Do you remember they went through a really bad dip? Yeah, they did. Yeah, and yeah. at one point I thought Eddie they was going to be the block and then they came out of it. Yeah. So I'm not sure, man. But from a Spurs point of view, they needed a win. Another home game. Like they they needed to pick up some points, um, and Richarlison scores two. I mean, it proves anything can happen, right? I should have played a lottery yesterday. Um, and then Son gets another goal under his belt, so it was probably a good time to play Newcastle. I, I didn't see it being. A, I thought it'd be a draw. I didn't see it being a a, a wallop in for Newcastle, but but um, Spurs yeah, needed that. Yeah, with Spurs getting most of their core eleven back, yeah, yeah, they'll start playing a little bit better. Yeah, they lost three. I think they'll return five. back to that form they had with the ten games. Hmm? I think they'll return back into form, They're just winning. Yeah, and when, if they can pick up points before Madison gets back, he'll get slot straight back in. He's he, not back till Feb. Madison oh, in was February. A, yeah, Jeez. Madison was a big loss though in the West Ham game. Because West Ham's bank of four, yeah, they, and the they, low block, they yeah. didn't have anyone yeah. who was creative enough. To do to that, pick a pass. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, I think that I think those are the games where they'll miss him and they might struggle. Um, and Newcastle are obviously not going to do what West Ham done. They're going to take the game. So yeah, 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 it's surprising that um, Eric Dyer is not being picked ahead of Davis at centre back. Because Davis is naturally a left back, isn't he? What's surprising about it? That they he's playing a left back over over Eric Dyer. But think, when you think about the type of football, sorry, Isaac, when you think about the type of football that Big guys wants to play. The, oh, so you just think it's stylistic uh, rather than. I think I, 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 it, it can't be anything else. A lot of, everyone else is there, come then the clean sheet. I'm just not sure that he thinks he gets what he needs out of Dyer. And I, I've not seen anything over there to say that. I this think is the team. Yeah, and I think Dyer knows that. And I think he knows he's surplus to requirements. So Time he's just back up. There was a video that went around a while ago. I don't know if you guys saw it, where they were doing, you know, they did all the social media now and they record players coming into training. Yeah. And they recorded Dyer coming in. And Dyer said, um, paraphrasing, something along the lines of, oh, I know you're not going to use it anyway. <laughs> Ooh. So, I'm not so one of the people of the that... I think he's of the mentality, like I'm literally just, just running down my contract. Because if you think here. about it, we've, we've commented on their high, on their high line, etc. Yeah, he, he, do you, you want Dyer getting caught yeah, in the high line? He's not pacey, is he? No, no, we don't, yeah. we don't want that. And I'm not saying Ben Davis is the fastest guy in the Prem. But I put Fiverr on him in the forest yeah. against Dyer. So, so yeah, I just I, I think it's it's, yeah. I just genuinely think he suffers the requirements probably yeah. at that at Tottenham. Um, was just, uh, maybe go down to Leicester in in in, the, in January again. Another <laughs> why up. why not leave and just go to a club where you can get guaranteed ball? Yeah, or is it? Right, no, I'm cool. with you. They might not pay you the what you was on at Spurs, but but if, if you're, you're a prem not, team, you're not starving. The I problem don't think is you have a prem team to be honest though. The problem is as well... Luton, Sheffield? 
What, Derek Dyer? Yeah. No, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. If Harry Maguire have to go to them places, Derek Dyer doesn't have to go there. No, he's saying that another Prem team. He doesn't think. You don't think you'll get another Prem team? No, nah, he gets another Prem team. That's what I'm thinking. But yeah. the other problem is, look at, okay, look at someone like Luca, Lucas Dina, yeah? When, uh, I was about to call him Arteta. When Emery first came, wasn't really in the plans. They bought uh, Torres, I think his name is, the left back, mm. et cetera, et cetera. Things have turned. He starts now. He's yeah, part he's of the played, team. So Dyer's right. probably thinking, there's a bit of a dilemma. If the team's going in the right direction, you know, I'm going to hang about, I'm going to work hard, I'm going to get in this team. Um, so you, it, it's a risky one. You can leave. And I don't know how long he's got left of his contract as well. Actually, if he's got the rest of the season, or he's got 18 months left, wait till the summer, pick up a move. I don't know. Yeah. But Might be I, I don't think it would be mad see. for him to play at Fulham or something. I, I don't think if Fulham's, there's anyone in Fulham's defence that that is better or outclasses Dyer. I don't, you know what I mean? If I look at the table exactly. now, he could definitely do a job at Fulham. He could do a job at West Ham, bro. Eric Dyer. He could do a job at West Ham. He's, better than, he's not better than Zuma. Who does Zuma play alongside? You can't even name him. Remember, he can also play DM as well. Aguirre? No, oh, Aguirre's not bad. He's not bad still. He can also play DM as well. Wolves? Yeah. Yeah. I think there's teams. I feel like, I think he gets a prem team. He gets a decent prem team. Um, but yeah, it's all changed at Spurs now, isn't it? It's all changed at Spurs. That keeps them... That keeps them fifth comfortably. Obviously, Man United lose. So they got 30 points. Man United got 27. But this Newcastle 26. We said at the beginning of the season, if, if Tottenham get fifth, he's done a, he's, he's done a job. Mm. And he's, yeah. he's, got, he's got them in that range. I think top six for them would be great. I think him and Chelsea, Chelsea and Spurs are fighting out for that. Top six. It's been a good season spot. <laughs> Ideologically. Chelsea are not in that fight. <laughs> no, 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 I agree. <laughs> but if we all did yeah, our top six at the beginning of the season, yeah, 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 top, yeah, Chelsea yeah. and Spurs are in there, yeah, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah. So, so that, that's what I mean. Um, Liverpool Palace. Boy, hey, PGMO giving uh, Liverpool a helping hand in that. That's what you get when you stick it on them and don't accept it. <laughs> <laughs> like some sitting back and laying there like some ladies of the night. What are you saying? We stood, we stood up to the establishment <laughs> and now they know what I've got on. That's what I'm saying. What are you saying? You got to make those statements. So <laughs> no, you sure. ain't got to do it. You got to put Just them on. You got to set the tone. It's like... Um, put it on them early. It's like those anecdotes. You know what people used to say? Um, if you go back and look, whenever a referee did something mad at Old Trafford, that referee would never ref a main night game again for the rest of the season. Nope. And, and I'm going to take it for one of the pods, but apparently if you go back and look... No, yeah, yeah. That was, there, that was there, a no You'll see that ref did not ref a main night game again for the rest, at least the rest of that season, or if not for a period of time. So he said, is that what, is that what you yeah, know? Man. Now, yeah, we went into the dance. Yeah, okay. Went up to the biggest guy, patted his pockets, make him know what I'm going. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Now they check in. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, 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 aside though, um, I was at the game and like, we're so fortunate. Like, the, the, it, it was, the refereeing was bad. Like, really, really bad. And you know me, like, I, I put my Liverpool hat on all the time, like, you know what I mean? If I can get a little bias or whatever. Was it that bad? It was, man. Like, it didn't look that bad. So, when I was so if you the game. take the, the, the two IU incidents, the first one... Oh, sorry, the referee was bad. Yeah, the sorry, referee... I think your performance... No, 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 sorry. Oh, the referee the, was the bad. Referee. Yeah, yeah. So if you go to the, the two IU mm. yellow cards, the first one, when Van Dyke tries to kick on him, he actually steps, like, moves his foot out of the way. Like, the ball doesn't hit him. Mm. So he, he's like, why am I getting booked? Like... I, I, was, I was standing yeah, yeah, yeah. there, he but didn't, he didn't, the ball yeah. didn't hit me. I moved my foot out of the way, so mm. I didn't try and block it. Mm. But then and when then, you're already on the yellow, Keith, that's my thing. This is what I said in the group. When you're already on the yellow, it might be wrong or whatever. You got you to gotta be careful. Uh, yeah, but that wasn't, it wasn't, it was a foul. Like, it was a foul. It was never a yellow. And the thing is, like, before he got sent off for the yellow, Gakpo comes on and Gakpo pulls him back, like, got, got his shirt, drags him back, and doesn't get a yellow. Doesn't get a yellow. Referee's like, oh, it's just a free kick. So I can understand, like, Hodgson and... Yeah, the referee was bad. Yeah, the referee was bad. Um, was poor, man. And literally, up until that, that yellow card, Liverpool offered nothing. <laughs> like, I know you've got your Salah agenda, but none of the front three done anything. I don't think we had a shot on target until Salah scored. Um, it was, yeah, it was, it was terrible. Funny, wait, I was, wait, wait, I was, but... I was having this conversation... Um, just quickly, because mm. I know you got something. I was having this. We was having this conversation about man of the match, right? <laughs> and um, 
you'll have someone who will do something throughout the whole game, have a certain level of high level of performance for the whole game. for the 90 yeah. minutes. Right. Yeah, a yeah. certain level of consistency throughout the 90 minutes. And then someone will pop up in the 90th minute, slap a goal, that wins the game, but they've done nothing all game. Yeah. And they get the way they do man of the match, match in this country right? is ridiculous. And it it just irked me because I kept bringing up the whole Salah stuff. And it was just like... Did he get mad? I don't know who got mad. No, he didn't get oh. mad. I, I, well, I don't know. He probably yeah. did. Um, but, yeah, like I said, it irks me when you've got players that do nothing or off, offer nothing mm. other than just a body on the pitch until they just happen to be in the right moment at the right time. Now, some will say that in itself is a skill. And that in itself is is knowing when to be there yeah, and or being switched, right, on, being switched on enough to, yeah. to so execute. Just to a little bit on that, is your problem with it is that that works okay for some games, mm-hmm. but on average, you need to show up most of the games yes. to, be conf- to be effective over 50, yes. 60 games. You need to offer something yeah. or you need to be able to, you need to be a playmaker, a mm. game changer, right? Mm. So if the, if the game's not going our way, what can you provide? Go for the next team. Yes. Yeah. What can you provide that changes it in our favor? And I'm not just talking about waiting for someone to put the ball on your toe so then you can score. I'm talking about you actually going and getting involved and then changing the fortunes of the game, which might mean you, as the goal scorer, go and create a chance for someone else. And yeah. the funny thing is, it's interesting you said that because I feel like in football kind of discourse, being Absent for eight, nine minutes and then doing something absolutely elite or world class mm-hmm. in the 90th is seen as a sign of quality. It's just crazy to me. It's talked about it that way, right? He's yeah, not yeah. done much of it. And then at the clutch time, yeah, he's, he's popped up with that finish. Or, piece of blah, blah, magic. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> with goalkeepers, I get it because it can be hard. Like, you've not done anything in the 80th minute and mm-hmm. then you need to pull plucks out of the top corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, no. The fact that you were ready and able and yeah, kept yeah. your concentration cool. But um, people do talk about it in a way, in a way that actually it's a sign of quality that even when someone's having an off game, in their one or two moments, they were able to yeah. pull it out. So it's, yeah, it's interesting that you feel like actually that's that's that is not something that you rate to be to be frank. No, I don't. Yeah. I personally don't. Is, it, is it more the case as though because his bar has been so high and he's been involved previously, you know he's capable of doing it. Yeah. It might, to be fair, it might even be like like a like a body management thing. Like, he knows he's getting older, so he might just be like, well... So he's going down the messy route. Yeah, messy maybe, route I'm, yeah of, maybe I'm not going to be I as involved more. as what I, yeah, yeah, what yeah. I normally and am. I, and don't get me yeah. wrong, I understand that. And I understand that. And if you've got other players around you willing to do the extra legwork, then so be it. My my only thing is... Well, maybe it is that. Maybe yeah, maybe got, the bar... Got, I'm, I've, I've got such a high bar of him. Yeah. The, like, the, yeah, and maybe. the players around him are a lot younger than him. Like, Diaz... Mm. Maybe so. Gakpo, yeah, yeah, the midfield, yeah. they're all relatively young. Um, but yeah, he came back to the game. Endo, as I said, Sheffield United, I thought he was excellent. <laughs> that 45 minutes was one of the worst 45 minutes I've seen <laughs> for but is a that, player in a long time. To, to, to echo a question as I gave earlier, is that Endo being really bad or actually Palace's midfield being properly set up? No, he, he, he was bad. Because even though bad. Liverpool didn't play well, bad, yeah. Palace didn't really bad. offer much or create much. But yeah. it was just like, he was just he's he's slow on the ball in it. Like he'll get the ball in space, and then he's kind of dawdling a little bit, and then someone's on him, and he's either done a short pass or he's got he wins those easy fouls like he did for the you know for the first penalty that got overturned. This little incident. He's slow. Incident yeah, he's like slow to the ball. Yeah, he's slow on the ball. <laughs> <laughs> His touch tackle. Yeah. <laughs> so the thing is like. Then you it's see like, Sheffield bro, United, on, you, see, you see glimpses. But, yeah, I just want to big up Alisson as well because that save he done in the first Woo! half was... Whoa, buddy. Whoa, Endo got hooked at half-time? Yes! Yeah. That's how bad it was. He, he got yo. hooked. So they, they hooked him half-time, put Gomez right back, put Trent in midfield. Yeah, and bro. to be fair, that, that didn't even work. <laughs> like, it, it was didn't. just... It's like they were it was, prepared for yeah, it. Yeah, it's still laborious. And yeah. then the penalty that Sheffield... That, sorry, that Crystal Palace get... Mm. When it happened in the ground, no no one appealed. Like even like it yeah. happened by the Homesdale end, no one was like, oh. And I saw the replay. I thought yeah. pen straight away. No one said anything, didn't it? Mm. So everyone, everyone's like games cracking on. I thought it was like three or four minutes later. Yeah, weren't it? one minute fifty. I think, oh, so. I it, think felt, it felt even longer. In I the think VAR were checking it in the background, right? Yeah, they, yeah. so they, yeah, they must have been. And then the ref stopped it, and everyone was like, 
what's going on? And then as soon as we saw him go to the, yeah, yeah. the monitor, we were like, well, he's going to give a penalty, innit? Like, it's just... I saw the replay, I was like, pen. But I thought that, I thought that Kwanzaa was doing all right before that. Yeah, he had, he had, he had a really good game. Like, but then he got hooked at 57 minutes. But to be fair, that might be more tactical because he got hooked for Gakpo. I was just praying it wasn't like... No, no, Kanati came on for him. They swap, it, was just, it was a swap for a centre-back. So they, he made two subs at the oh, same yeah, sorry, time. Reading the wrong sub. Yeah, but, yeah, But Kanati, Kanati came, came on. Came so, on him, yeah. But that sub was happening anyway. So I think it was just... Uh, oh, it was going to happen. Yeah, because the two players were waiting before the referee got told to go over to the monitor. So those subs were going to happen before he got sent over. And just, but, a, just a short mention on, on... What's his name? The striker, the Palace striker, Mateta. Like, when you've not been scoring a lot of goals, you've come on as a sub, yeah, they were no, no against Liverpool at home, you take that pen, and you take it took it well. I, re- I read that, because yeah, I looked at it was they, like... They were arguing. So I think um, IU wanted it. Mm. Um, I'm and no, Ward, I'm like, Ward the captain, came, like, there was a bit of like chat, mm. and he was like, no, nah, no, nah, I want it. I'm, I'm taking it. Yeah. I thought you were going to miss, to be fair. Yeah, same. <laughs> But to take that, have the steal and do it. I'm not gonna lie. If I play with Jordan, he's not taking the penalty either. So I just, I did. The only part I didn't like was the celebration. <laughs> Bruv, just get the ball and go and go back to the center. Why? Yeah. It's one nil. It's like, it's, one nil. Like, he's team one nil up, yeah, man. Yeah. Bruv, one nil yeah. up against you. You're not a home. regular goal scorer. <laughs> Bruv, exactly. So you both have been waiting to celebrate for exactly. a while, isn't it? <laughs> Bruv, Bruv, locker. I've just scored against Liverpool in front of my home fans. You're probably giving me a stick every time I control the ball. No, no I'm no, celebrating. No, no, no. I'm um, celebrating. That like Balotelli said, does a postman celebrate when he posts a letter? No, he doesn't. <laughs> I like you been there before. Well, we're quitting Balotelli. It's a bad me, day. <laughs> um, it's a bad day. But yeah, when IU goes off, it's like, oh, we can play football now. Yeah, let's play football. There's more space. It's... And then literally, like we, I think we scored like a minute after he got sent mm-hmm. off. Mm-hmm. Quite fortunate because in the ground, it didn't look like it deflected, but mm. it did. Um, so when we got it to 1-1, I was like, we're, we're going to win this mm. game. Because we knew there'd be a, a lot of Injury time because their keeper went down and there was a couple other incidents. But yeah, Klopp was right. He's like, I've never seen someone play so bad for 76 minutes and, and win a game. And <laughs> he was right. But these are the games that kind of get no, you alive. To, like we were, upset. we were very fortuitous. On another day, the to. referee would no, be No, but you a need three points balanced. from these games. So when you do play, the exactly. cities, the people around you, exactly. you yeah. need them, bro. You need them. Yeah, yeah you need them. Yeah, so, for a play, Palace, they, they came with a game plan, they did it, but Getting down to 10 men. Yeah. You're giving yourself a problem there. And then Edward had to go off injured as well. No disrespect to Mateo, but I don't think Roy was planning on you playing so much of that game, bro. Um, <laughs> <I'm not at laughs> so, so there's that. And then now we'll move on to the big hitters at the moment. Fulham. Five go- 10 goals in four, get- four days. Bro. I mean, I was... Jimenez can't stop scoring. They were, they were minus 10 goal difference <laughs> this time <laughs> last week. <laughs> I mean, I was at the Forest game midweek and... When Jimenez is back healing into your goal, yeah? No, no, no. Everyone's pack up and go home. Everyone pack up and go home. He scored like two goals in the last three years. I'm exaggerating a little bit, but he's not a prolific gentleman. Let's put it that way. And now he's doing back heels. He feels comfortable to do back heels. He'll put it here. Everybody pack up and go home. And then today, they're back again 5-0. And this is where football's so bad because the performance West Ham put in three or four days ago, and then maybe they're tired or whatever it is, but I, I've only seen the highlights. Again, Jimenez, header, like, he was winning it. It was, no, it, was yeah. bruv, it was a proper, the, the cross was cold, bro. Not too high, not too low. Just right. Just yeah. right. Go and get it. Yeah. Go and get yeah. it. Yeah. 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 If, if Jimenez had just yeah. jumped and it hit his head, it was getting. Yeah. But he, his header was good as well. Um, there was even a, a goal. Talk about Chelsea defending. Um, the Wobi takes a shot. I think it hits the post. Ferreira goes up to cross it back in. It goes back to Wobi in the box. He um, has an air shot. Yeah, biscuits. And then William just buries it by corner. Yeah, I'm like, it, where is the other team? West Ham, where are you guys? Where, like, this is David Moyes' team as well. He's meant to be, meant to be defensive. Yeah. So, I, I think it's, Mark Silver probably says it's been a long time coming because they went in a bit of a slump. But that team's come together all right. You know, Willian, Wobi settled in there. I wasn't sure if he was going to go there and be a starter, but oh, I said this about Everton, but um, I think he jumped. He knew, like, actually, you know what? I'm not signing a new contract here. There's too much turmoil here. So maybe he's found his premiership home now, like where he's going to play mm. decent yeah. mid-table team. But this London. is his, his third premiership team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bonus, yeah. So. yeah. And he's back in London now, so yeah, exactly. he's comfortable. He's exactly. closer to family. And this should probably be looking Europa League, no? Fulham? Fulham? Yeah. Mm, I don't know, you know. I don't think so. Spend a little bit of money. 
Nah, I, think, the I, table, think, I still I think they're a little bit short. But they're not they're not going to be consistent enough to to maintain a push for Europe. What's your Europa League seventh? Because we're not getting the fifth anymore. No, I think it's it might be six, isn't it? Oh, yeah. All right, maybe maybe UCL did. Maybe Europa Conference League ECL, yeah. ECL maybe a bit of ECL, but uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, tenth is not bad for Fulham. Like a top ten finish for Fulham. Yeah, would be it's really a good season. Would be yeah. really good. Three points behind West Ham, that'll give us some confidence. Five points behind Brighton. Again, you you you, 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 you gain some consistency. <laughs> Get to man, and find yourself your eighth, eighth or ninth. Yeah. Do you think that um, if Palina goes, they need to sign someone? Hundred percent. To replace him straight steal. away. That was a steal. But if Palina goes, wait, he signed a new contract though, isn't he? Did. Yeah, so, yeah. Get so, money. That, so that's gonna be big money. Yeah. Then maybe that's now. To get in the next level, right? And I'm not saying they would do this, but whoever, whoever, because you lot was telling me if Conor Gallagher left Chelsea, he's not going to. Wait, was I saying he wouldn't go to a decent team or you lot were like he would? I remember us having a conversation about he, if. He wouldn't go to another top six team. So, like, core top six team. So maybe they go and buy a. With that money, because Palina is going to be a 60, 70 million pound transfer surely now, right? He was very well rated. He signed a five year deal. He's not going to go for 40 or 50 million. Maybe that's now they now buy someone that's just, you know, can bring play with Pereira and be the next level up, maybe. Or they do a West Ham <laughs> and spend the money in two or three areas. Spend it wisely. And strength and strengthen up. So that might be the 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 funds that helps them do that do that next season. But they'll have to, because it, it was a steal, right? It was a find. Yeah. Um and they do that there. West Ham, I mean, it just seems like we're talking about a lot of inconsistency within teams at the moment. I think that's going to be the prem all season. Yeah. Like, I think it's, it's just going to be surprise results from like the bigger teams and then the mid-table teams are going to go on a run, maybe win two or three games and yeah. lose two or three games and it's just going to be up and down and everyone is going to take points off each other up and down the league. Mm. We have a mad one. Big game next week for banner purposes. Liverpool at home to Manchester United. Which no matter where the clubs are, it's still a big, you know, that's a big game. Yeah, it's a bigger a game of, than the Manchester Derby. It's a bigger mm-hmm. game than the Manchester Derby. A lot mm-hmm. of people like joking online say the scoreline could be similar to last year, etc. But well, what was it last year? Seven nil. <laughs> forgot about that. I genuinely but, think we're putting five past them. See, I don't know, at man. I think there's too much five no, and not too much losing to Bournemouth. Like Wait, no. as long as we lose, them, sorry, as long as we win one nil, just give me the three points. If we, no, if we, we, need, if we got Arsenal past. the week after, we need to get into that Arsenal game. Confidence. The, yeah. Three points. Yeah, at home though. I'm telling you, we're putting five past them. <laughs> I know, I, I think your players are going to be up for it big time. Like, doesn't matter where you've come from, what club you come from. When you land at Liverpool, people like Virgil, they'll be letting you know, these are the games we win. These are and the games the we got to play through them. Europa League on Thursday, we can rest yeah, everyone. Because yeah. we qualified. I think we're top. So it doesn't really matter about where they've got to try and <coughs> get a result from Bayern Munich. <laughs> Arsenal, Brighton next week. Not fantastic, but if they've got you're, European you're League on a Thursday. Them. You're beating them. Um, Newcastle, you're, you're Fulham has them. now become an interesting game. Fulham's mm. form, Newcastle are the best. But Newcastle at home. Mm. Uh, Brentford, Villa. Brentford and Bremo's out for a while. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He got, he got a knee. Five months or so. Yeah, bro. Ooh. So His penalty was... Decent in midweek as well. Right. Like. So that Villa game away, I don't know. He's a big miss for them. So now you're mi- you're That's missing it. Tony and Mbemo. Mbemo. I know Wiss is good, but Mbemo's Tony's agreed. coming back in a couple of weeks, no? No, Jan, no. Yeah, yeah sorry. Yeah. I think so it's three like weeks after in. the FA Cup games, I think yeah. you, can, you can play. I think those are the big ones. Chelsea, Sheffield United, Chelsea at home, Sheffield United next week. <laughs> no, I'm laughing, but they can go either way. You know go either way. New we manager say, bounce. We, we say Potts going to be given time. But there's some games he can't lose, surely. Yeah. Did you hear what Wilder yeah. was saying? I don't want to hear about this new bounce manager. Oh, new really? manager. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's saying, I don't want to hear yeah, about new bounce manager. <laughs> so, but I think next week is relatively spread out games-wise. Yeah, we, and then it's Liverpool also the week after. Also that Anfield. Are we going to do a live watching for that one? Yeah, we can do. We can oh, figure yes. it out. Yeah, let's figure that out, actually. That'll be decent. That'll a be live decent. watch. That'll be very decent. All right, everybody. Uh, as always, please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Um, yeah, and keep keep going in the comments, man. Uh, we're, we're enjoying Loving it. Loving the engagement. Yes, more. In- there is definitely more. 
across TikToks, across the socials, the YouTubes. It's not all sense, but keep it coming. <laughs> Peace. Peace. Peace.